MSU's Ostrander Auditorium and its capacity crowd was the home to tonight's debate, and the moderators on hand kept it focused like a laser on the economy, deficit, and taxes, and how they intertwine. Quist rejects tax increases, saying we should bring spending down, though not specifying any cuts, even saying he wouldn't touch Social Security or Medicare, the biggest drivers of the national deficit. We're adding over a trillion dollars a year, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Banana Republic type of economics. I mean, this is, it is hard to believe that this is going on in the United States of America, but it is. Walls, meanwhile, went so far as to say that we should bring spending and revenue to 20% of GDP, effectively calling for $600 billion in cuts and $500 billion in increased taxes. The problem that we have in our politics now is it's all or nothing solutions. It's the elimination of the other side of this. Those of you who are Democrats sitting in here and think it's someday that'll be a perfect world and there's no Republicans, it's not gonna happen. And the Republicans in here think there's not gonna be any Democrats, it's not going to happen. The strength is there's good ideas out of both sides, compromise them together. Walls disagreed that the increase in taxes would hurt the economy, citing the lack of success derived from the Bush tax cuts. If it were true that if we cut tax, we'd have economic growth. The single worst time of job growth and economic growth in the last 75 years was during the 2001-2008 Bush tax cuts when they hit the bottom. It did not create growth. Quist insists it will get the job done. Free up the lion of free enterprise. Unleashing the lion of free enterprise. Unleash the lion of free okay. enterprise. Unleashing the lion of free enterprise. No more debates remain for these two. From now on, the race will come down to ads, voter interaction, and enthusiasm for the candidates running at the top of the ticket for the presidency. In Mankato, Ryan Gustafson, News 12. Care, more efficient, more user-friendly by having the government take it over. It just isn't going to happen.